Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. And as for today, we have the unboxing of the RX7900 GRE. And GRE stands for Golden Rabbit Edition. And this card, this GRE, is not an XT. So it's not an RX7900 XT. And it is not a 7800 XT. So it is kind of the middle ground in between the 7800 XT and the 7900 XT. And it is from Sapphire. It is the Sapphire Pulse Edition. And by the way, this is the, this is the box. Yeah, it doesn't say Sapphire, it doesn't say Pulse, it doesn't say anything, just a normal cardboard box. Because these cards are sold in bulk. I bought mine in PC Components, a Spanish and Portuguese store. And, and yeah, basically they come like this because these cards were supposed to be sold solely in China. And well, after that they kind of started being sold across the globe, now in Spain. You have several stores around the globe that actually sell this card. And this card... Uh, costs around from 600 to 700 euros, depending on the country, of course, there are countries where you can get it for 600 and something euros, and for that price, it is a massive deal, because it is faster than the 7800 XT, especially the Pulse model, this one. So once again, Sapphire Pulse RX 7900 GRE, Golden Rabbit Edition, almost as golden as today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. So, let's go to the unboxing. Well, this, firstly, this is a normal cardboard box, nothing really relevant. The only thing that you can see here is that it says HDMI, uh, UKCA and everything else, because as I told you before, and here the barcode, because as I told you before, this uh, is a product that was only sold uh, before for OEMs, so you couldn't buy it unless it came on a full PC, and now they sell it, uh, well, like this, they sell it on bulk, and we can actually buy it. This is the Sapphire model, the Sapphire Pulse, I believe, not the Nitro one, and the first thing that we actually have um, is the Sapphire, Sapphire Graphics Card Quick Installation Guide, as usual, from Sapphire, the guide in several languages and so on. After that, we have basically Sapphire Nitro Gaming Series. Oh, it's the Nitro support bracket on the Pulse Edition. Odd. Then we have the usual foam. Nothing astonishing as well. And here we are. Oh, and we have the bracket here. The the so-called Nitro Plus bracket, or at least the bracket that usually comes with the Nitro Plus models, but in this case we actually have it uh, with a pulse as well. And that's basically all we have in the, um, in the box. And I can tell you right away that the GPU is not that small. I have the, the reference models, for example, and I tested the reference models for the 7800X, for the 7900X and XT, sorry, and I have the, um, the reference model of the, the XTX version and this card is actually bigger and longer than these. Oh, that went down. When I, when I have my own home soon, I believe, uh, and the studio is done, the lighting conditions will be much better for things such as these uh, unboxings and so on. Now, as, as you can see, it is the Pulse, although it brought the, um, the Nitro Plus brackets, it is the Pulse Edition, the fans are Pulse Edition, but we have a triple fan design compared to the dual fan design that we are used to with, uh, with the Pulse versions. But I mean, it's a 7900 GRE, so it's basically... Um, it's basically a 7800 XT, but way more coarse, so that's normal. As for the side, it, it is actually the first the first Pulse Edition that I see with this design, saying Sapphire here on the side, in red, and then we have here saying Radeon, just this. Radeon on the side, then we have it uncovered here for the power pin connections. As for the back plate, yeah, definitely not plastic, it, it might be like aluminum or something like that but definitely not plastic, feels great, looks great as well with a pulse, with a pulse symbol, saying Ray, Radeon here, 
with cuts with with cuts on the design in order to have better airflow as well and better heat dissipation also a cut on the GPU die this is all, all also for the um, better dissipation as well in order to to well to not heat up so much especially on the hot spot this helps a lot as for dual bios I believe that the Pulse editions do not bring any kind of dual bios this is how it looks in the front on the other side this is how it looks and on the back in terms of IO panel and connections well we have let me see display port display port HDMI HDMI well we have it mixed so two display ports two HDMI so if you have two HDMI monitors or two display port monitors you're good to go and if you have one of each you're good to go as well some cards now bring let's say for example three display ports and only one HDMI this one still brings the double HDMI uh, ports which is good for people that have HDMI monitors so they don't actually need to buy an adapter or something else and I guess that's it for the unboxing I mean the, the GPU looks great oh and by the way for a matter of perspective only uh, I have here the Nitro Plus version of the 7700 XT so 7700 XT 7900 GRE and as you can see the, um, the Nitro Plus is obviously thicker but I mean, it's a Nitro and this one is a Pulse, so the Nitro has to be better, definitely. And special in terms of cooling, not just in terms of, of looks, of course. But in terms of length, if you put them side by side, they are basically the same length. So they use more or less the same PCB, the power connections are more or less on the same on the same spot. But instead, we have just a thicker, uh, a thicker cooling solution for the Nitro. It's better, you pay, you pay premium, even the... Um, the backplate is better, of course. I would prefer the Nitro design on the GRE, of course, but uh, I believe that this card runs low clocks and the Pulse, even this model will be more than enough because if the reference model is more than enough for the XTX version, I believe that a bigger model, uh, a better cooling solution will be more than enough for the, for the GRE as well. That consumes way less power. Well, let's test it a bit. And well guys, basically that's it for the 7900 GRE. Uh, we got the Sapphire Pulse model, which actually uh, delivers a higher power limit compared to the reference version. I believe that the reference version of this card uh, was set at a maximum of 250 watts. And for 250 watts, this card was able to only achieve around the 2100, 2200 megahertz while with the power limit that we have on the pulse which is around 300 watts so 50 watts more we can actually push up to 2700 megahertz in some games so the difference is massive uh in some games from 2200 to 2700 and this puts the card once again from 10 to 20 percent faster than the 7800 xt depending on the game and of course tests will come uh, I'll be I'll be testing this card as soon as possible in order to make comparisons with the 7800 XT and so on so on so on so yeah and if you're lucky enough to grab one of the nitro models it is even higher you can push the power limit up to 320 watts I believe so those 20 watts or 30 watts will allow you to go even higher in terms of frequencies that will deliver a higher performance in terms of, of what this card can bring for the price it is still in the middle for the price it costs, it is not as expensive as the 7900 XT and it is more expensive than the 7800 XT, so it is in the middle in terms of performance and in terms of price. Although in terms of VRAM, well, if you go a bit more for the 7900 XT, you actually have 20 GB VRAM instead of 16 GB, while with both the 7800 XT and 7900 GRE, you have 16 GB. So, in my opinion, if you can grab one of these cards at around 650 euros or 6 600 euros it is a massive deal over the 7800 XT around the same power draw for the pulse model as the 7800 XT reference and performs better win-win situation and by the way the cooling solution does not feature any kind of RGB lighting so uh, that can be a turn down for some people in my opinion it is not that bad and the only thing that I found bad about um, the cooling solution uh, is basically that it sags it is 
kind of kind of long the gpu is kind of long uh and at the same time the supports are not that great so it kind of sags and you need the gpu holder otherwise the gpu will sag a bit uh and that might lead to future damages to the pcb and so on so i advise you if you're getting this card get a gpu holder you can get one on amazon for like 10 bucks or 15 bucks at most and it will do the job perfectly um but that's the only downside because the card is cool the card is quiet uh, and performs very well, so I can't really complain. I can't. And well, basically that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video as that really helps a lot. And guys, see you in the next one. Really eager to see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>